morning is as usual, 20 minutes for the speaker and five minutes for short uh, questions and we keep a time at the hands of the morning to, to have all talk as a general discussion. Um, so uh, we have a bit of a change in the program, in my program anyway. And the first speaker is not uh, Mr. Eric Jacobo Alvarez Rados, but it's uh, uh, Madame Maria del Carmen Barroso, first speaker. Uh, I have to introduce you, I'm, I don't know you, uh, with his medical doctor's degree from the University of Havana. Uh, she started training in oncology, the National Institute of Oncology and Radiology. Uh, in Her medical service as an oncologist was in uh, Olguin province, completing a residency in uh, 1979. Then she returned to uh, the university, working as a clinical research department at the Molecular Immunology Center, where she continues working until today. A long list of other specialized and uh, I, I welcome for, for your presentation now. Thank you. First, I want to say that I am so glad to be here and to thank you to the organizing committee of the Academy. You hear me? Yes. Okay. I will begin with my presentation. Um, the first is that I want to say that Everyone in Cuba has the right to receive health care and protection because the state guarantees this right. That means that everything is free of charge and everybody has the right to be treated in their country. This is our national health system. This is the inside, the political uh, version, and this is the Minister of Health with the central um, place and the provincial and the municipal and you see that here we have the polyclinic and the primary uh, care of the of the health. This is the institutions and the hospital that uh, care the patients. This is the of the act the the population that we have in the pyramid in 2010, you can see here. But we will have in 2030, more or less 30% of patients with more than 65 years. That means that we are going to have an elderly pop population that means <coughs> that we are going to have more uh, cancer patients to treat that are harder and so not so easy to cure. We have in Havana more with to the to the health system. One thing that we call scientific polls that are com composed by several different institutions. This is my institution, this is the Center of Molecular Immunology, where we have monoclonal antibodies and vaccines against cancer and other diseases, not cancer problems. For here, this is the center of molecular the um, biotechnology. This is the cell thin line for the, the preparation and uh, for vaccines. This is the, the center of uh, immunology where we have the ELISAs and the regions and so and several others. This is the typical that you have interesting in in tropical medicine, this is the center for that in Cuba, and this is for the, uh, for animals, plants. In this poll, we have several things. That is the first, the preventive vaccines. You know that in Cuba, we are free of transmission species. That is made, uh, made in this, you know this? The green light, we have, to my equipment in, the, in, in another, that means that we have covered all the possibility to treat patients in, with vaccines and antibodies and, and other things. 
related to cancer, mm -hmm. but we have two supportive care as a little boy again, colorism, molecular factor, anti-metrics, and so on. That means that we need to have our own um, drugs. And moreover, we have a pharmaceutical industry that includes a cytostatic plant not to prepare, but only to maculate the drugs. Sometimes we have the old drugs, we have not the new ones, but with the money that we <coughs> buy, the, the old one we may, we may buy the, the new one. Okay, cancer in Cuba is a national problem. Why? We, we began our oncological uh, school in this <coughs> decade and the onset of the oncology and so on, with all of these years are in the onset of the National Cancer Institute and uh, uh, Radio Biology in Havana City. And this began the new era in oncology after 1959. At the time, the public uh, oncological survey was so poor, so scarce, so bad uh, results, no control, no programs, nothing. But after this, we began to construct our um, our society and our world in this, in this case. After this, we began to have, this is the ontological, excuse me, this is the ontological national institute of oncology that was created to develop a national oncological network that we have to create in this moment in all the country. It developed a national cancer registry that began in 1964 with the old I IBM uh, schedule, but now with, uh, of course, uh, computational digital things. We have, in that moment, to purchase equipment for cancer prevention and treatment that we have already in other countries, to update the knowledge of professional at highest level that was that were initially formed at, the, at Cuba and then outside of the, of the country in all the places. The theoretical and practical update of new technologies related with cancer management because at that moment was so cool and to promote cancer research not only at the National Institute of Oncology but for the rest of the country. For this purpose, there were created the National Institute of Oncology that I say, the Cuban Society of Oncology, Radiotherapy, and Nuclear Medicine that update that today is our uh, Cuban Society. The National Group of Oncology as advisor group, not only for the National Institute of Oncology, but for the Ministry of Health too. And the National Cancer Registry that began at the, at the initial it was so so modest, but now is a uh, so fine uh, cancer rate. <coughs> this is our cancer registry. You see, we have the the base and the clinical records and histological files at the different at several hospitals. They reports to the cancer province registry and then to the National Cancer Registry Center office that has all the the conditions to have this. Uh, the main cause of death in Cuba, I suppose that are more or less the same, but you see here that the malignant tumors and the cardiovascular disease are in this moment fighting for half the first place. One time, one year is cancer, one year is cardiovascular disease, and if we, of course, we zoom, neurovascular disease and cardiovascular disease are higher. But if we agree with the rest of the world to say that all the cardiovascular disease, we are more or less at the same level. What we have in Cuba, in 2010, we have 5,000 new cases in men and women, 